We we on the show to talk about the um, and you said what normal time yeah, is yeah. yeah. that's like nine. She wakes up, comes to work, oh my dear, work eight my nine, dear. So normal time should be three a.m. for him. That's you. how it should be. Up. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. Send so the I, memo. I, I think we like this idea. You know, we're gradually adding on. So Anita will be the fifth presenter. We'll have Anita, Helen, Cookie. I, I, I then think Fridays yes, we, I, can, then we can we can begin sleep. to bounce off. No, I think you we know, can maintain Cookie and <clears throat> Helen. Yeah. Uh, then we can begin to bounce off. Yeah. So maybe you and Helen can do Fridays, then <laughs> we can sleep. You guys. <laughs> so you're welcome. We're initiating you officially onto the morning show. Send your bear. That should be. And that should be a debit. <laughs> that be, and you must pay dues. So How allow much? cash out. Like 50 cities. 100,000 bullion. Our, wow. Our treasurer is Alibis. <laughs> Alibis. How much should we charge? Oh, he's not here. Mm, okay, hear. anyway. How much should we charge, Anita? Initiation fee. Oh, pay. Oh, $1,000. Ah. Oh, small. Small. What is that? Anyway, how are you guys doing? Charlie, surviving Good. the master plan. You go B. Small, small. Uh, small, small. Adjust her foot out. Yeah, mm. finally. Partly, though, because she's still MP. Well, it's, it's only a matter of time. Is it? Hmm. It's only a matter of time. Hmm. That's all I can say. We have to wait till October because, to find out. Okay, yeah. well, because, of course. Yeah. That's what the speaker said, mm -hmm. but... The debate yesterday, if you listen to the tone of the debate and the comparison that we were trying to make to that Martin case, yeah. you know, that was a criminal matter. This is not, this was uh, leave that was sought on a humanitarian grounds, mm. you know, so the back and forth. I'm quite curious about the minority's interest in this mm -hmm. particular one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it does appear that it's a minority that's asking, oh, don't let don't. her go. Yeah. And the majority seems to be suggesting that, no, 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 it's mm. time. I don't so, get to see so that. let's wait and see. I think but, it's an issue but, of numbers. Well, it's an issue of, uh, of numbers. I agree. Mm. Um, but if they, for example, do secret balloting, you'll be shocked. We'll never find out. It's true. I mean, how did we get Speaker Bagby? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of seminar? Yeah. And how did we get all the ministers who had question marks on their heads yeah. passed? And yeah. even the one who everybody said was not going to go through get the she highest number of votes. Mm -hmm. Anita, what do you think about <coughs> I mean, uh, yesterday, um, when I saw the um, letter on social media, a lot of people were like, finally, finally. Mm. And I'm like, okay, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Mm. But then again, also on Ghana tonight, um, I realized that a lot of our uh, MPs and ministers have mm. been absent. And I'm wondering then, it looks like our representation in parliament isn't being affected. Because mm -hmm. these are people we put up there to take decisions for us. But if some of them are missing up to 40 sittings, then there's a yeah. problem. Yeah. Mm. Uh, some 30 and over. And it's not just Adjua Safu. She looks like the one in, uh, you know, the major talking point mm. at the moment. Yeah. But you realize there are a lot of other people who have been missing some of the sittings. And then it looks like it didn't even start from now. Mm -hmm. It's been persistent over the years. Right. And then our speakers haven't really been bold enough <laughs> to um, deal with some mm, of them yes. to serve as a deterrent to other people. And so I think this... Is in the right direction, if you ask me. Mm. Yeah. It's interesting. Oh. Let, two let's exes, just, you two know. exes and their good friend. Mm. <laughs> they were before the privileges come to. Yeah. You know, just a voice. And kind of work. Yeah, can. Can, yeah, can, well, yeah. well, they have kids together, mm -hmm. yeah. we're told. But they are exes, right? Johnny. Were they married? Were they, they are no dating? no longer together. Are they together? Did they date? Or maybe it was just a matter of having kids. If, we won't know that. I don't know. But mm. I'm saying that if we were involved, then we are no longer involved. Are we not exes? Someone academy. <laughs> yeah. They are all missing parliament. But we're told that 33 in total yeah. are the MPs that had been absent for more than 15, 16 days. And of course, you understand that when it comes to um, the standing orders in parliament, you cannot miss for more than 15 days without written permission from the speaker. Now, out of these 33, we're told 31 of them are majority MPs, two are minority MPs, and in fact, 15 of these uh, 31 majority MPs are ministers of state. Yeah. And from 40, I mean, Ajoa Sapo <laughs> is the one that has missed the most. And it's not like um, every single day you've missed, you know, sitting. Apparently, it's been happening so intermittently. So even if you missed one this week, it's counted. And then mm. next week, if you miss another one, it's counted as well. For me, the issue about especially Anubo Ajoa Sapo and that letter that was released was the fact that the, the Let's just say that she, um, in the meantime, they were going to maintain Madame right, Cecilia Dapa right. as a caretaker, uh, caretaker minister. minister. Right. And I found that worrying because <clears throat> she was made caretaker back in October 2021. That's right. Are they mm -hmm. telling us that all this while <clears throat> nobody had lived up to expectation to some point? Deputy Minister of Gender, the Chief Director of the Ministry, there are other women within the party who could take up yeah. this position. Mm. Why are they telling us? Because already Madame Cecilia Dapa is, you know, 
she has too much work to do with the sanitation ministry. We're not seeing a lot of things happening when it comes to sanitation in the country. So clearly she's overwhelmed. Now you're asking her to still carry on as caretaker minister, and I found that very worrying. Is there no other woman who can take up this position? Well, that's a question for the gods. I mean, especially for uh, a government that says that we'll give 30% of our, um, what do you call it, appointments to women. To women. Um, you're expecting that a lot more, you know, women. I, I, I've always had a question about the Ministry of Gender, Children, and Social Protection, because looking at the historical trajectory, it's come from the Ministry of Women and Children, and, you know, came on to, to this point. It does appear as if it's, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, a governmental women's fellowship mm -hmm. or girl's guide mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah. you know, because they often focus on women-based women. things. However, mm -hmm. if you bounce back a bit, you would notice that even the number of days that are being put to address a foot to say she missed parliament, we stopped counting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when the privileges <laughs> committee starts. Assisting. Exactly. And all of those periods, are also part of the number of days that she hadn't been present in Parliament. So she was earning, but she was not working. Hmm. And that's for me is the problem. But you ask a fundamental question is, and, and, and it will transcend into, if you will, the finance ministry as well. Is it a birthright of a sort mm -hmm. that you have people in the party, we have the men, and that translates into women. And then I will. Hmm. Let's let's go into the weather been, forecast. I've not been president for before. this morning. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to be gender minister. Let's see if 